from AWSI. We're here at the Right Engine Tent with Gary Siskar. Yeah, Jimmy. Good morning, Gary. How are you? Good. Good. Welcome to Hood River. <laughs> Thank you. You're right here. Yeah. yeah. What are the new products that you've got for us this year? We have a couple things that are new, and I'm super stoked to show you. We're just going to highlight a few things because we have a lot of new stuff, yeah, but yeah, let's yeah. just like hit the high points for right now, for right? Sure. So the first thing I want to show is we are the first wind sport brand to release a rechargeable e-pump. And let me tell you, this thing is an absolute life changer. You guys think like old school pumping yeah. up with the pump, the old pumps, they break, they get full of sand, the gauges never work, yeah. you don't know what pressure you're getting your wing or your kite to. Well, guess what? With the e-pump, you get the perfect pressure every time. You can actually get the thing going, you can walk over, put your wetsuit on, come back and your your kite or your wing is all inflated. Um, so the other thing is you can inflate yourself with it too. It goes from basically zero to 20 PSI. It will inflate anywhere from six to eight wings, six to eight kites. It recharges in about uh, an hour and a half to two hours in a regular USB scene charging, or you can charge in your car too. If you have a car that has a cigarette lighter or a 12 volt plug into it, not many of those around anymore. Maybe if you have a van. So we're really excited about this product. So um, cool. Yeah. So does this have to go in your carry-on or can this go in your check luggage? No, nope, it is a carry-on. <laughs> so, but I will say in terms of the weight, it's one point, about 1.3 kilos. So the standard regular yeah. kite pump is about 1.3, 1.4. So this it's is same, much smaller. Same, same, it's much smaller. So at the end of the day, you're actually lugging less around in terms of yeah. space that is taking up. Uh, yeah. Another key thing that we have, you know, these are available, you know, you can find them online at other places and so forth, but we have a proprietary nozzle group with ours that will fill everything from SUPS to every major kite brand out there. So it doesn't matter if it's Slingshot, Duotone, Core, North, it's going to inflate your wing or your kite, no questions asked whatsoever. So that's really nice. Yeah. It comes with a nice shot case, which is great. We know when we're filling up. Yeah. Our stuff, weights and kites, you're going to drop it. You're not like just doing your sub next to your car. So yeah. you made it a little bit more rugged and durable overall. And then we have world-class support with uh, ride engines. So if you have yeah. issues, which you probably won't, it's really easy to get all of us to take care of that. Some of the so. best warranty out there. So talk to us about some of your kite harnesses, though. We've got some innovations coming that way, too, right? Absolutely. So we have an awesome kite and windsurf harness line. As you know, that Ride Engine was the inventor of the hard shell harness. Yeah. So often it's uh, imitated, but never duplicated. Yeah. The reason being on that is we're the only brand that actually has human data in yeah. which the shell shape was actually formed. So yeah. when Coleman Buckley started the brand a bunch of years back, he was making custom harnesses. You basically wrap yourself in this, you know, putty, you know, put it in the oven, I mean, yeah. <laughs> come out, let the thing cool down, send it to Coleman, he'd make a carbon shell for you. He kept all those molds, so we were able to get that data. And what's really different about the ride engine compared to other ones out there is we have on all access his contour in the back. And the best way I can describe this is if you think about it as an arch in your shoe, you're trying to fill that space and people with shoes, they've done a lot of research yeah. and they're making a uh, insole when you go buy your Nikes, your Adidas, or your Vans, or whatever you're getting, that actually is really comfortable overall. It's not too high, it's not too low. Sure. So we didn't have to guess at that. We actually had the data to make a hard shell harness that yeah. fits 99.9% .9 of the people out there perfectly, keeps it from twisting on your yeah. body, keeps the rise of the harness up on your body to the minimum overall. So what's new in the Carbon Elite this year? Yeah, so Carbon Elite, we're really excited about the Unity Direct Connection System. So that gets rid of the webbing connection that you just found on most other harnesses out there. We felt like that was a weak point in, in harnesses, especially when someone's looking for a hard shell harness. A lot of them are riding, you know, they're looking for the most support. Uh, they're doing big air. So you need to have the harness yeah. really stay tight the entire time. Yeah. And we all know that webbing, when you're using it, will come loose, especially if you're doing big air. Especially if you're doing and you big air. And you have to tighten it up. So this eliminates that. So ambidextrous interface yeah. with the Unity system, you can open with your right hand or left hand, and it truly is a one-time set it and forget it system. You know, you might have to, if you go from trunks to a wetsuit, obviously <laughs> you'll have to reset it, but it's really easy to do overall. The other thing we did for this year, and we actually started last year, is a lot of material science. We're using a thinner uh, neoprene yeah. overall, a little less closed cell foam on the inside, which makes the harness 
equally as comfortable as all the past seasons, but yeah. lighter weight overall, yeah. so that's really nice. So when we're so. talking lightweight, tell me about this new slim down harness we've got. Excellent segue, Kimmy. So this is the opposite end of the spectrum for ride engines. Oh. So really known for the hard shell harnesses, being sure. innovators in the hard shell harness. But we see out there that there's this need for a travel style harness, ultra minimal, ultra lightweight. And we went to the opposite end of the spectrum. So now we have the Rogue, which yeah. is extremely soft shell. Packable. Packable, lightweight, mm -hmm. yet has a lot of ride engine DNA packed yeah. into it. So how we accomplish achieving the lumbar lock right. support is with the thermal form DVA. Yeah. And then what we call the cradle support system. So these are independent webbing that when you tighten the harness up, we do use webbing on this to keep yeah. it lightweight and packable. When you tighten the harness up, it'll actually conform to your lower lumbar shape and so forth. Sure. So it's really nice. Oh, that's but rad. You really hit the nail on the head. This is a sub uh, 1kg for a size medium harness. And you can, you can roll this thing up, fit it, fit it on into a you know, yeah, pocket in your bag. You can put it nice and flat, use it as padding for your surfboard or your for, for your foil board. Wow. But yeah, you get all the support from a ride engine harness. It's super cool. It's called the Roam because we're roaming around the planet. Yeah, that trying makes to find perfect the perfect sense. conditions. You know? Have you been riding in this much, Gary? I have, you know, and you know what I really enjoy uh, using this harness for is for hydrofoiling. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks I'm like gonna... something that would be great for foiling. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it for hydrofoiling. You know, you don't have as much pressure in the hook. Sure and so forth. So you feel a little more free, a little more yeah. minimal. So yeah, light, 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 flexible. Light. Exactly, so. Awesome. Really good choice, so that's yeah. the realm. So that's Wait. really the three highlight products for right now. I'm stunned. If you're lucky enough to be here at AWSI, even if you're a consumer, I'm gonna tell you this right now, just harsh barge the gate and try to come in here and check it out. <laughs> we love showing stuff, so just get right yeah. in. But yeah, yeah. that's the, the stuff that we're highlighting at this show amongst all awesome. other things. Are you getting out there today, Gary? You know what? Uh, we're pretty booked back to back. So <laughs> I have, work day I'm lucky to live here so I can get out a lot of times. I just hope everyone that's here that's visiting can get out. The wind yeah. just came up. Yeah, it's coming we got, up. We got wind today. We got wind tomorrow. Friday looks a little shaky, but I don't know. My local knowledge says that Friday will be good too. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, Gary. Thanks, Kimmy. Really appreciate it. Awesome.